Good morning! Thank you for showing up for your second dose, first official dose of daily inspiration and motivation with me, Amanda Gold. I'll think up a zazzier title or whatever to call this, but um, for now, thanks for being here, and I'm excited to share some motivating shit with you. Also, I just want to acknowledge that it's March 1st, which is badass. I feel like it's the first day of spring. It's technically not the first day of spring, but it is the first day of the first spring month in my mind. We made it through December, January, and February. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, that is. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you're coming up on fall, which is nice too. But here in my part of the world, it's getting to be spring and I'm definitely ready. All right, so your first hit of inspiration is coming from this sweet little book. Look how tattered it is. My first sponsor gave it to me after I got my 30-day chip, so that was almost five years ago. Hooray. Um, it is a Hazelden Meditations book. It's called 24 Hours a Day, and it has these little daily things. There's one for every day of the year, and it's got an AA thought for the day up top, and then it's got a meditation for the day, and it has a prayer for the day. So you can pick all three. You can pick one. Or you can be a goddamn rebel like me and just flip open to a random page and just ignore the date entirely and see what you see. And that's what I did. And so today's little tidbit comes from January 5th, and I honed in on the meditation for the day, which is talking about peace. And real quick, on these things, I am going to use the word God. If you have a problem with that, that's okay. The God word is charged for a lot of people. Um, a lot of us have been really wounded and damaged by organized religion and all that kind of stuff. So just try not to make it an issue. Um, just plug in a word that works for you or edit that word out. Or go find a video that feels better until you find one here where I don't talk about God or something. No, I'm kidding. Don't go find another video. Just we'll figure out a way to make peace with the word God. At any rate, something good, something awesome, something bigger than yourself, okay? Just use that for now. Anyways, the meditation for the day today says, I believe that God's presence brings peace, and that peace, like a quiet flowing river, will cleanse all irritants away. This is really good news for me. So, because I'm an irritable lady. <laughs> Can be, for sure. Um, I always joke, like, it takes a lot of work to, for me to even be out in the world and not want to punch people in the throat. I just feel like a prickly cactus often, and it kind of sucks, and I work on it. I don't want to be so irritable, you know? I want to be calm. I want to feel peaceful. And what does that word peace even mean? I think it's one of those words that gets overused, and it's one that I hear it, and I just sort of inwardly roll my eyes, like, oh, yeah, peace. Like, I picture that peace out, bro, or this in ineffective you know, idealistic, unrealistic state of being, you know, we talk about peace on earth around Christmas, or we say we want world peace, or it just feels like it doesn't have any juice. So when that happens, I pull out my other favorite book here, the Oxford, well, it doesn't have to be Oxford, a dictionary. And I like to look up a word, even if I am certain that I know what it means, and I might get something fresh or new or something that feels more relevant to me. So in the dictionary, something that jumps out to me, there's a few definitions for the word peace, but one is just mental calm and serenity. And I'm with that. I need mental calm. So going back to the meditation of the day where it talks about how it's a quiet flowing river and it will cleanse all irritants away. Um, in these quiet times, it says, God will teach me how to rest my nerves. I really latched onto that word teach too, because when I first got sober, um, I realized like I didn't know how to relax. I realized I didn't know how to be at ease and I needed to be taught this. And so if God is this like nebulous force or thing that we're just feeling or choosing to believe in without any proof, how do I let this thing teach me how to be peaceful and calm and have mental serenity? It's, it happens by getting quiet. So I had to learn how to meditate. I know that can be a loaded word for a lot of people too. But really it just started with me. Uh, I set a timer for literally just two minutes at first. And in fact, I think when I first started, it was only one minute. And I just sat there and it was really hard. And as it got easier though, I was able to set the timer for longer. And now I have a pretty consistent practice every morning of 15 minutes at least. Um, and it's great. It's like, it's, uh, it's like flossing. It's mental hygiene. I notice when I don't do it now and I feel amazing for doing it. And I do feel much more peace and calm and joy and all sorts of really good things. So I'm going over my time here a little bit, so I want to wrap it up. Um, 
yeah, there's a lot to say about this, but for now, I just want to wish you a peaceful day. I think it's Friday. Hurry! That's, that's a big deal for a lot of people. And I have a special bonus gift for you. It's a peaceful Hawaiian sunset. <laughs> can, you, can you picture yourself there? Right there on the beach? Oh, it's so restful and serene. Or, if, since it's morning, and you're just starting your day, maybe you don't want to feel the sunset vibes yet. Here's one during the day. Oh yeah, that's such a nice warm beach with the nice salty waves. Look at those little clouds. <laughs> All right, there you go. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.